actor and media personality Chris Atto says he was never named as a suspect in the death of his uh, second wife, Betty Jennifer. The actor's wife was shot in the head in the parking lot of her office building on Friday, May 10, 20, 2019. She was reportedly walking to her car when an armed man fired multiple shots at her, speaking uh, on showbiz A to Z. The actor also opened up about the divorce from Nigerian actress Dami Lola. He says he has no regrets because it made him a better version of himself. When, when your partner dies, you are a, partner, a person of interest because they would talk to loved ones. But that, again, should by all means not make you a suspect. You yeah. know, we talk a lot. And, and then we print a lot, even without verifying. I'll say it right here. I, you know, I've never been a suspect in that case. I absolutely loved her. Is the case closed? Everything done? Um, you know, the police are still working on it. It's still an open case. So, Our deepest condolence again. Thank you. Did a divorce hit you, hit you hard? I believe that there is no divorce that anyone will go through that does not affect them in a hard way. Has it made you change your notion about love? I think that what life and love have taught me is that we're still all learning. Nobody has the answers. Um, I personally don't wish to discuss where I am, but I will tell you that I'm a very experienced man. I will tell you that I'm probably the better version or the best version of myself or anything that I've known till now because experience molds you. You have a little him. boy from that marriage. I do. How's he? He's wonderful. How old is he now? He's going to be eight. You but he's growing. He is incredibly smart. Every second I look at him, you know, uh, it helps you go through the pain from that, the pain from whatever divorce, whatever. You look at him and it's like, no, we made a beautiful human being. And that person won't be here if, you know, God doesn't make mistakes. You mentioned your um, partner and um, manager. She discovered you? Uh the person I was referring to was my late partner, Betty. Betty, okay, um, okay, okay. Yes. Your, uh, if we, we should quote unquote your second wife. Well, the late. Betty is how I'd like to refer to her. We're sorry about that. What really happened, if you want to talk about it? You know, a lot, a lot of things have also taught me that sharing on these things are maybe and shouldn't be my prime most objective you know as much as i'd like to share it comes back to hurt some yeah. of the people in a, you know in my life and people i love um and i want to always celebrate her on any platform that asks you know she was a very wonderful person she was a very encouraging loving woman she was the embodiment of if you had a dream then it's for a reason she used to say something to me that what if god put this dream in your heart just to show you how great he can be. And I remember this morning, I said, what if he put it there to show me how great I can be? It's the same thing. And nothing you feel in your heart is by chance. If you're feeling it, then God is saying, this is what you're meant to do. That is who we're talking about. And, you know, I'd, I'd like to just leave it alone there. You know, I'd like to celebrate her and, and, and the wonderful uh, things that she, you know, shared with me and the moments we shared. And, and that's pretty much it. Do you miss her? Every day. 